and every day more than 10 children died on the street. Despite all the facts of starving his people, what he did? Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. I'm a North Korean who was born in 1991 and I was in North Korea for 21 years. During I was in the North, which is an isolated country in the world and portrayed as a totalitarian state. I was raised, I was brainwashed, I was controlled by the totalitarianism, what I think, what I say, where I go, what I wear for 21 years. And finally, in 2012, I risked my life to find the freedom. That's why I am here today to speak about what I have experienced under the dictatorship. So today, I would like to talk about what was the perspective when Kim Jong-un appeared in the media in the first time in 2011. I spent 21 year years in North Korea, so I had experience of three generations of dictators, including Kim Jong-un. Before talking about the perspective of Kim Jong-un when he appeared at the first time in the media, I would like to introduce about Kim Jong-un's father, named Kim Jong-il. Because it is very important to know about North Korean history and it is very crucial to know why people have the different perspective of Kim Jong-un compared to Kim Jong-il. Now you might wonder, oh, what kind of person Kim Jong-il is? So first of all, I would like to talk about what I learned about Kim Jong-il in North Korea. I learned about Kim Jong-il as a god. And as a hero, Kim Jong-il was a master manipulator to his people. What we learned is Kim Jong-il was born in Baekdu, near Baekdu Mountain. So a star appeared, double, like rainbows appeared in the sky and cranes flew across the sky to announce the, his birth. He's God. He's not a human being. Because they, the North Korean government and Kim Jong-il manipulate that he is not a human being. He is a hero. He is a god who can only save his people and have a superpower to change the world. But in reality, he was born in Russia. He was born on Soviet military base. And in addition, what I learned about Kim Jong-il is he is sacrificing all the time for his people, for his nation. In 1994, many people starved to death during the arduous march. People didn't have any basic needs. And every day, more than 10 children died on the street. Despite all the facts of starving his people, what he did was having very expensive meal and the French wine. What a devil guy, what an evil guy. Emptiness, people starving, people howling out means nothing to him. His interest is only maintain his dictator and only his own survival. While people starved to death, he didn't introduce the market reform like China and Russia to save his people because he believed that that market system made people too independent and too difficult to control. Can you believe more than 3 million people starved to death while he was enjoying to eat lobsters with the French wine and enjoy his life, extra vegant life. What he did also to finance his extravagant lifestyle, keep himself in power, 
He runs the government like mafia style criminal enterprise. As you all of you know about the fact that if North Koreans watch the media and including South Korean dramas and American movies, people can be executed and can be ruined their li entire life in concentration camp, right? Despite that fact, he really enjoyed arts. What his favorite movie are James Bond movies and Rambo series. Also, he was obsessed with Elvis Presley. In addition, he is the one who cannot control his lust. He loved the girls. He had five wives. When I was in North Korea, I didn't know that. Because talking about the Kim family members are very taboo topic there. And there is a saying, if you have a short tongue, your long neck will be gone. It means be careful what you say about your country, what you say about your le dear leader, our supreme leader. But he enjoyed his life with beautiful girls called Pleasure Squad and enjoyed the art, enjoyed the performance with the 20 girls. Now you may wonder how people believed he was the one who led that country very efficiently and strongly. He created Songun policy, which means military first. And he started creating the missiles and weapons. He really enjoyed the America submissive to him. He thought if he created these military bases, including the missiles and weapons, other country, no one attack him, no one attack North Korea. That's why his policy created missile and weapons to prevent his power. I still remember when I was in North Korea, one day my dad told me, about the missile system and weapons system. He said that people are starving and people are struggling to live their basic life. I heard North Korean government spend lots of money to create the missiles and weapons. And I heard it cost a lot. Instead of making the weapons and missiles, what if Kim Jong-il provide that financial support to ordinary people who will not struggle anymore? But at the time, I wasn't like enough mature to discuss that topic. I just heard. And my dad reminds me not to talking about that topic in the public. Just always be, be cautious what you say and what we discuss in, in our family. And another his tactic is purging. There is guilt by association. As you might heard from other North Korean defectors and from the media, if you charge the criminal, not only you got punished by the government, but also your family members. So he created that environment to kill uh, people in the public, and such as like execution. Since I was eight, I had to watch the public execution. We are forced to watch it because the North Korean government won't make people to fear. They want to give them fear to other people so they will not make the same mistake what other people did. That is the, his main tactics to make people brainwashed in North Korea. So during the Kim Jong-il's power, many people starved to death. And many people got executed because of one man's ambitions to keep his power. So that people think Kim Jong-un was different than previous dictator named Kim Jong-il, which is Kim Jong-un's father. So when I was in North Korea in 2011, Kim Jong-il died and Kim Jong-un started appearing in the media 
and many people, including my father, my family, my grandparents, believed that Kim Jong Un is completely different leader from previous one because his appearance looks like his grandfather. Still in North Korea, majority people have good memory of Kim Il Sung. The reason is that so after Kim Il Sung, uh, Kim Il Sung got the power. Kim Il Sung provided free land to farmers, so many farmers can have their own land and make uh, their lives. And also, he created a public distribution system. People were provided by the government, and their lives depends on the government. But after Kim Il Sung died, North Korea was in panic. People had no idea what they do. That's why starvation started, and led because of shortage of food, people dead on the street. Because of that, that backgrounds, people have have a good memory of Kim Il Sung, and also different memory of Kim Jong Il. So when Kim Jong Un appeared in the media, people strongly believed Kim Jong Un will lead our country as like a Kim Il Sung, who is Kim Jong Un's grandfather. However, it was wrong. Kim Jong Il is also bloodline of dictators. He never gonna give up his power. Look at him. He looks like a pig. He observed all the North Koreans' food, all the food of other countries, while people are struggling with their basic needs. I don't know how long he's gonna maintain his power, but I hope one day there is the sunshine to our people, my people who live under the dictator, under the like a totalitarianism in this modern world. So hope this video gives the opportunity that people can comprehensive about North Korea. Today I was talking about a little bit sad and also very deep topic and not a fun, but hope you enjoy this video and hope you share this video with your friends and your family members. Thank you for your time to watch my video. I will see you next time. Bye.